Hi there, my name is Aaron Landerman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech, and this is the control panel from a Tron arcade game. I do have the cover for this somewhere that I paid a ridiculous amount of money for on eBay. And I had students in my retro futuristic hardware team at Georgia Tech, the vertically integrated project, make this little wiring harness setup that connects over to a Raspberry Pi Pico. And I had them create a script in CircuitPython that runs on the Pico. And when you plug in the Pico with the CircuitPython bootloader, it actually shows up as a hard drive. So this is just a text file you can edit. And here's the code. So it shows what maps where. So up, down, left, right, map to the arrows. The first and second, or I should say one player and two player buttons map to the numbers one and two. The fire button controls the control key. And then X and Z actually are pretty complicated. That's what spit out when you turn the controller left or right. And this was pretty complicated to do. And oh, you can actually see it here. So as I'm turning it one way, I'm putting in Z's. And I'm turning it the other way, I'm putting in X's. And let's see if I move the joystick here. So as I'm moving the joystick, uh, you can see the cursor going down, moving it up. And then I can move the cursor to the right and to the left. And um, actually the control key won't show up well, but I'll show you in a second that it works. There we go. There's one player and two player. All right, so let me clean that up and then we'll try it on Tron. So in MAME, we have our controls mapped appropriately. I'm going to press five to insert some quarters. Let's try a one player game. Okay, I can't really... Okay, let's first demonstrate that I can move my tank. Okay, let me now demonstrate that I can turn the knob here and change the direction of the turret. It's a bit janky. I think this is gonna need some fine tuning. Ah, <laughs> okay. So I do own a tripod, I just, I don't think I've got a mount to use my phone here. Should get something like that. It's hard to play the game like this. Also, I don't know if it's, so most of the Tron games, you can't really fire more than one missile on the field at a time but I also feel like the fire button's not very responsive. I think that has to do more with the oldness of the control panel than the code. Although certainly the way the turning works, it feels, feels a bit odd. Um, that could, like if I spin the controller a lot, it doesn't seem to catch all of it. So I think, I think there's some tuning to be done in the code. Ah, anyway. Let's see, what else was there in this game? Let's see, we've done the tanks, we've done the, ah. Let's see, uh, what's the other, the other one, oh, the other one's the light cycles. Ah. So, part of it is I'm not very good at Tron. Part of it is I think maybe the code needs optimized. Maybe if we didn't use CircuitPython and we coded it in C, maybe, or whatever the Arduino compiled language is, it might be a little more responsive. Or I'm just not very good at this. Or also, I don't know if this needs oiled or what. It doesn't, it feels like it's a bit on the, um, metaphorically rusty side. Anyway, you get the idea. Ah. Okay. So really, this is a game that needs two hands working. All right, that's the idea. 
So anyway, that's the Raspberry Pi Pico, which I picked up from Adafruit. And obviously this setup is pretty jank for prototyping. I'm going to get one of those housings that goes all the way across that we can put these into. Although these have gotten kind of a bit beat up over the years. I've had many students try to get this working over many years. So I'm probably going to actually clip all of these and put a new set of connectors on here and then put those in the housing. This is an open source project, so if you would like, you can go to Armand's GitHub and take a look at the code that goes onto the Raspberry Pi Pico. And there's also a wiring diagram that shows which of the various connectors on the Tron controller connect to places on the RP2040.